In your teaching, you talk a lot about relieving tension and, and trying to play in a way that there isn't a lot of tension coming from your left or your right hand. I find working here that sometimes cellists come with that same complaint that, oh, my, my left hand is very tired and I look at their instruments and I notice that the strings are very high. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that could be a contributing factor? Absolutely, sure. Yeah, if the string is too high and you have to work too hard to hold it down or to get it down, then that's going to produce excess tension in the hand. I mean, it's also possible that they're just not playing with healthy habits. And uh, But if you're playing with healthy habits, which means you hit and relax, hit and relax, and that whenever you put a finger down, the old finger becomes spaghetti and releases. See, if you put a finger down and now you've got two tight fingers or three tight fingers, then nothing ever gets to rest. So then, in that case, the high strings exacerbate an already difficult situation. And also, if, this, whatever, if, the, if the strings are too high here, they're going to be really too high up here because they go up, they get farther and farther away from the fingerboard. Yes. With seasonal changes, uh, when winter comes and moisture is sucked out of the wood, then the, the fingerboard tends to rise up a little bit and the belly tends to sink a little bit as the cello actually gets smaller. So, so in the winter time, strings are very often too low and they're laying on the fingerboard. So some people need a winter and a summer bridge. So um, the time that people, when you ask about the, the string height being too much, probably you're running into that in the summertime. The summertime, the water is all the humidity in the air is being absorbed and the wood swells and the strings get higher and then people find themselves working too hard with their left hand um, and so those cellos that swell up like that need summer bridges that would be cut just slightly lower. Right. How about um, in the right hand? Um, do you find that sometimes a bow could be too tip heavy and cause tension? Yeah, well, that's a lot to do with schooling and how you hold the bow. Just like you can have bad habits here, you can have bad habits here. So if you're not, the, I like to give a lot of exercises where people kind of crawl around on the bow like this and get used to the being able to balance and manipulate the bow, bend and straighten their fingers, do things like this, then you have uh, balance and flexibility in your bow grip as opposed to a death grip which is tight and rigid right so the the tightness and the rigidity uh, are what causes the tension and the pain and it also makes you less agile and less virtuosic so all of that is important now that can be very affected by the kind of bow that you've chosen for yourself right um, I'm one of those people I'm not crazy about tip heavy bows so if you take five or ten bows and you just hold them with your bow grip like that you'll feel that some of them pull you down this way and some of them don't right?